Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to solve a problem related to the related rate in Stewart textbook, chapter 3.9, number 41. A plane flying with a constant speed of 300 km per hour passes over a ground radar station at an altitude of 1 km and climb at an angle of 30 degrees. At what rate is the distance from the plane to the radar station increasing a minute later? So what happened is you have a radar right here. And then the plane is actually passing through here. So <laughs> this is my plane going up at a speed of 300 km per hour when it's directly below, directly above the radar station, right? So at this point, this height of the plane is one kilometer, and then it's climbing up at a distance with 30 degree here. Okay, so this is 30 degree. Now, when it's co going up, it's 300 km per hour. And then now, after a minute, so the plane will be at this point. So it actually form a triangle. So what you have here is actually a triangle like this. Now, this is not a right angle triangle. So the angle here is actually 120 degree because that's plus 90, right? Right here is actually a 90 degree. With 120 degree here, and it's constant, so it, this doesn't change. What else is not changing is the height of the plane initially, which is one kilometer. Now this is y and this is x. So the plane is actually going further and further away and the y is actually changing as well. So the question here is at what rate is the distance from the plane, so the plane is at this point, to the radar station is changing. So we want to find what is dy over dt. We know that dx over dt is actually 300 kilometer per hour. So we might need to change this per hour into minute later. Now, what else do we know? We know the angle, we know the height of the plane initially. So with a triangle like this, what equation can we use? Now you have to go back into the high school math. The equation that you need to use is cosine law. Well, what is the cosine law again? So if you remember, the cosine law is something like this. y squared equals to x squared plus, this is the constant, so 1 squared minus 2 times x times 1 times cosine of the angle in between 1 and x here, which is 120. Okay, okay, so we have something like this. Let's simplify this equation. So we have x squared here plus 1 minus cos, well, 2 times x times 1 times cosine of 120. So cosine of 120 here is 1 half. So what, what we have here is actually plus x. This is actually minus 1 half, sorry, because this is more than 90 degree. So this becomes minus 2 times x times 1 times minus 1 half becomes plus x. So we have something like this. Let's rewrite this in the correct order. x squared plus x plus 1. This is my equation that I have to derive. Now, let's do the derivative on this equation. So y squared equals to x squared plus x plus 1. So the derivative of this is going to be 2y dy over dt, and that's what we want to find, equals to 2x dx over dt plus dx over dt plus 0, right? 1 is 0, it's constant. Now, we need to plug in all the numbers, right? Because we want to isolate dy over dt. Do we know what is y? Do we know what is x? Do we know what is dx over dt? We know what is dx over dt, which is 300 km per hour. Now, do we know what is x, right? x is actually after one minute. So how can we change 
uh, after one minute, how far is it? So after one minute, we want to find the number of kilometers that it traveled through. So let's do that. So we have after one minute. So we have x must be equal to 300 kilometers per hour times like now let's say one hour is basically 60 minutes right so this is going to confirm me the, the 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 speed into number of kilometer into one minute all right so this cancel out with the hour so 300 divided by 60 is going to be five kilometer per minute so which is what we want right for one minute it traveled through five kilometer all right so i know that x is going to be five kilometer now this is the speed so don't confuse about the speed and the distance now this is five kilometer per one minute and what we want is one minute so five kilometer per minute times one minute is going to be five kilometer so i can put it back into this x here now what is y if x is five so i have y square equals to five square plus five plus one so what i have here is y is going to be the square root of 31. Now this is the distance of y when x is at 5 km. Now that I can actually plug it back into my equation here now. So I have y, I have x, I have dx over dt, so I can actually isolate dy over dt. So let's do that. dy over dt equals 2. So I have 2x dx over dt plus dx over dt, the whole thing divided by 2y. So 2x dx over dt plus dx over dt, the whole thing divided by 2y. So let's plug it in. The value will be 2 times 5 times, so that will be 300 km per hour, right? So 300 km per hour. And then plus 300 over 2 times 2 times square root of 31. Square root of 31. So this is going to give me kilometer per hour because that's basically what I use as 300 here. So if you calculate that in the calculator, this is going to be approximately to be 296 kilometer per hour. So this is my final answer for this problem. If you have more questions on related rate, you can always email me or go on my website, goforaplus.com.